Do you want to shoot better on NBA 2K? Of course you do. Look at my stats. Well, Marauder, will I shoot 85% from three? Okay, Jimmy, calm down. Okay, Jimmy, do you shoot stuff like this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's coming, it's coming. Jimmy, do you shoot that, Jimmy? No, no, I, I, I. Do you, do you shoot that? And this? And that? I'm getting a little over ahead of myself. In this video, you are going to learn how the shooting system works in 2K. All the little nuances, all the little secrets to how shooting like this works. Now, after I've established that I'm clearly cheating, which I'm not, go check my live streams if you think I'm cheating. Four live streams up on my YouTube channel with my hand cam. Hit a dozen reds. Hit, drop 90 points, 80 points and a half. All this stuff with my hand cam. After I've established that I'm clearly cheating, because this clearly isn't possible, I'm going to tell you how to shoot better, H how the shooting system works, all the little secrets on how you can shoot stuff like this. Because I'm clearly cheating. There's no way that someone can shoot like this and shoot 68% from three. Not only in the rec, but comp pro-am as well. If you guys don't know who I am, hello, my name is Marauder. I've been tons of pros, competitive players, made some money playing 2K this year. I am a nerd. You can trust me. What I'm saying is 100% factual. If th This video is for smart people. People who want to get better at the game. People who want to shoot better. People who just want to be informed in general. This video is for you. With that being said, let's get into how you can become a better shooter and how the shooting system works in general. So first off, let's talk about the jump shot creator. Now, in the jump shot creator, you have four things that impact your jump shot, right? You have the release height, the release speed, your timing stability, and your defensive immunity. Now, two of those things are almost completely and utterly useless. And 2K describes them as different things in their name, like defensive immunity and timing stability to what they actually are. Now... Your release height, if you look up release height on NBA 2K, all it says is where your player releases the ball. That's it. It says the height at which your player releases the ball. Now, release height and release speed are the two most important things in this game, without a doubt, with your jump shot. You see my jump shot that I have. High release height, high release speed. A plus, A plus. Release height is your defensive immunity. That is what causes you to get these no contests. You see that when there's three people jumping at me in the corner and it says open, that's because of my release height and my release speed, not my defensive immunity. As you can see, it's a C plus. Defensive immunity, I'm going to show you guys. Defensive immunity, what that is, is you're going to get the same jump shot every time. So sometimes when you guys get speed ups, slowdowns, that is your defensive immunity. If you have an A-plus defensive immunity, you're going to get the same jump shot timing every single time. Now, if that's important to you, that can be important to you, but I get off way more shots than that nobody else thinks they can shoot, and all these shots that I showed you guys with my clips because of my high release height, not because of my defensive immunity. Okay, dial in for 30 seconds. This is the most important part of the video. Whenever you take a shot, you are applying all your boosts that your player has to that jump shot to hopefully green a shot. Your timing stability, if it's an A+, plus, your green window, if you will, or your, your, marg your margin of error, okay, is bigger than it would be for a C+. Plus. Now, you're also applying your jump shot boost, your corner specialist, your catch and shoot, your hot zones, your lethal zones, your... Overall three-point rating, your mid-range rating, your badges, your your takeover if you're having. All of those things are going into your jump shot, and all of those things are boosting your shot to hopefully green a shot. Now, I'm going to go back to that and explain that more in depth, but right now I'm going to show you guys defensive immunity and why defensive immunity doesn't mean what you think it is. Now, 2K, I don't know why they call it defensive immunity. Again, like I stated earlier, it just... When you get speed ups or slowdowns because someone's contesting your shot, this stops that or makes it more unlikely. But you see in this jump shot, this jump shot has an A plus defensive immunity with full release speed. 
That thing is getting blocked so easily. He's barely getting off the ground. He's shooting it right here versus that T-Mac jump shot I'm showing you. This is defensive immunity, right? I'm shooting from behind my head. Okay, you can't look at me and tell me that, oh, this has A-plus defensive immunity, so I'm going to get less contested shots. That's not how defensive immunity works. You're going to get less speed-ups and slowdowns, but if you want to shoot more contested shots that won't be contested, release height and release speed is what you want. So again, the harder shot you shoot, the smaller the green window is. Okay? If you tie if you know your jump shot, timing stability does not matter whatsoever. That increases your green it doesn't increase your green window at all. It does not increase your green window. It makes your margin of error for timing smaller. But the green window itself is impacted by a bunch of other things, those being your boost. Your badges, your your overall itself, your if you have takeover or not, lethal zones, hot zones, those type of things. Your release height and release speed because those stop contests from happening. So when you get contested, your 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 green window goes down. But you've got your if you got your green machine going, your boost gets bigger. If you've got your takeover boost get bigger. If you got your jump shot boost, which is so important. It is so important. Just put jump shot boost on. Whatever game mode you play, you'll make it back. You will make it back in more, and you're, you'll win more games. Your green window is going to get bigger. So let's think about this logically, right? I've got all these badges. Hall of Fame Blinders, Gold Deadeye, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Catch Shoot, Hall of Fame Core Specialist, Hall of Fame Mini Magician, Hall of Fame Open Looks, Hall of Fame Guard Up. All these Hall of Fame badges. Now, I give myself Jump shot boost that gives me plus five three-pointer. I give myself these jump shot sleeves that give me plus two mid-range Now let's say I've got I make my two shots in a row. So I got my green machine I've got my my grand badge. So now I've got plus ten three plus all the Extra stuff that comes with it when I make all these shots. I've got a plus release height which Dampers my my contests. I've got a hundred percent release height Early speed. I've got a so I've got a fast jump shot and a high jump shot. Why shouldn't I be able to make all these shots? I've got my lethal zones and my hot zones. All of that. Okay, you take all of that. All of that, and I time my jump shot right. Why can't I make a fifty percent contest? Why is it that all of a sudden you're cheating? And again, go check my live stream if you think I'm cheating. Tons of reds, tons of 90 point games where I'm holding my controller just like this and I'm using my zen, which is my thumb. There's so many things that impact your shot. It's not just if you time your jump shot right or not. It's not as simple as that. And, yeah, I mean, it's just like real life basketball, man. You know when you make your first shot of the game and you're like, you're like this is going to be a good game? Like, confidence is a real thing. In basketball... Like, the gym, the, the how the ball is. Like, there's so many things that impact your shot. Just like in this game. It's not just if you time your jump shot right or not. The rim impacts it in real life. Like, there's so many things that affect it. Your defender. Catch and shoot. It, did you get a good catch or not? All this stuff. Like, even how you caught the ball. Like, are you getting, like, the, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, the different grips on the ball. You know what I'm saying, man? I sound stupid, but I don't care. There's a bunch of things that impact your jump shot. So, when you make stuff like this, it's like, okay, green machine. Hall of Fame Agent 3s. I got my jump shot boost. I have a 97 three-point on this build. Now I've got my badge, you know, like, okay, there's momentum in this game. There's so many things that go into it. So, how you get better at this game, high release height, High release speed. Make sure you got your jump shot boost. Make sure you have the, your hot zone. That's how you widen your green window. Regardless of you, if you time it right or not, sometimes you won't be able to make the shot because your green window isn't big enough. It just simply isn't green enough. And, and it's, it just isn't big enough. And there's a pure green window, but you can't hit that unless you have the proper boost to help you make that. So put on all this stuff. And I guarantee you will become a better shooter. And that's the, like, 
how the jump shots actually work in this game as well. If you learned anything in this video, let me know. If you have any comment at all about any of this, or you want to help anyone out, or if you support me, or if you think what I'm saying is cap, let me know in the comment section. I think I know what I'm doing. I think my shooting speaks for that. And as always, thank you guys for coming with me. 1,600 subs, man. Not getting all soft on you, but I really appreciate it. I'm working hard. And I'm not trying to BS you like all these other YouTube. I'm not saying other YouTubers are BSing you, but I'm saying that... I don't know if they know how the shooting works like maybe I do, and that's not an ego thing. I mean, I think my stats and my clips prove that I think I know what I'm doing a little bit. So, hope you guys learned something from this. Keep shooting. Play around with it. Confidence, man. Shoot these types of shots. You'll see. You'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.